It's a colorful night, got red eyes, but it's all blue. Those colorful eyes. They Good morning. Um, welcome to another day. And I feel like poo. Woohoo. And I don't even think I've told you guys this, but I went on my first ever long distance charity run. Uh, for the families and children in Koma, Nigeria and it was basically um, raising awareness and fundraising and trying to get people to partner with me to make a positive impact uh, for the people back in Nigeria, Koma uh, so it was so good, it was so challenging, I was absolutely dead those hills in Richmond Park, honestly, they just kill, they are brutal uh, but yeah, right now I, I feel, I don't feel well, I don't feel good, I'm still recovering, I feel so drained, I feel so depleted but uh, I'm trying to just be positive, be present. Stay tuned for the rest of this video. Bye. So just jumping in on a quick screen recording. Currently looking at Euro Yen. We've got this ascending um, channel or basically price action with an ascending nature, if you want to call it. And uh, we've got here these two impulsive moves. We've sort of got this push down and then continuation and another push down and we can see if I just put up this level two pips below it we can take a retest or trade on that level um, which would be around here to our pip stop loss and this is something that I'm eyeing up again I love the two impulsive moves on this the only thing that I would be waiting for exactly is um, for price to actually ascend upwards towards this level I don't want any drastic quick retraces I want to see price to ascend to this level if we look at it on the four hour we can just see how price is and we can see that there's a big fat wick so obviously this is just going to be more of a valid trade it's something that um, you know it isn't the highest probability but it's definitely a valid trade to take we can obviously see this ascending nature and we see that price is tapping off on this level as well where price tries to break down through and yeah so this is something that i'm definitely keeping on the watch good morning guys welcome to north devon <laughs> um yeah i'm here in north devon literally with family and just been enjoying the beach, it's been paddleboarding, got off roading later on. I'm currently in Euro Yen. Um, and yeah, I'm just taking this time to to relax with family and you know it's been hard to film. It's been hard to work. Wi-Fi has been so unpredictable, it's been a challenge. But um these are the views. It's really, really pretty up here in North Devon, one of the best I'd say some of the best beaches here um, in England, in UK. And just like that, we are back in London, baby. So I'm off to go see a friend. Um, it's currently Friday. And I'm gonna quickly do a screen recording of what I see in the markets. Cause right now everything's kind of dead. Nothing that I want to be involved in. Uh, there was potential entry on Aussie dollar for a tap on this level here, on this low of this candle. And then you'd be triggered in, depending on your stop size, you'd be triggered in on this region here. Uh, but I personally don't like long, like big impulsive moves and then followed by a doji wick candle like this because usually that just means that price does is struggling to continue with momentum so it's, you know, it's really, it's really uh, common to see something like this form after any wick um, so with Aussie dollar, nothing, nothing looking too good on that Euro dollar so again we've had, whoops we've had sort of this push up, this wick, and then this complete retrace in this region here. So that's just showing that there's gonna be some sort of consolidation period here. Now we've kind of trickled down, but there's not clear momentum. So um, I'm pretty much just waiting to see any clear signs that market wants to move up or down. Um, with Euro Yen, got involved in this position and I did have an order set on this, on this area here, but, oh, hello. Oh, sorry. Are you, on, are you on Zoom? I am on Zoom, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm on camera. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm making a cheese. <laughs> you enjoy your tea? <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was my housemate. Good morning. It's currently a new day. I don't remember the last clip I filmed, 
But basically, one of the things that I've actually been working on or trying to get back into ever since going to Devon with my family is eating healthy. And I've been looking for something delicious and healthy to add to my morning routine. And luckily, Magic Spoon is currently sponsoring this video. So thank you to Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. Their variety pack comes with four delicious flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. Personally, my favorite is the cocoa. You can also pick up their new flavors, maple waffle and cookies and cream, as well as blueberry and cinnamon. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serve. That's only 140 calories per serve. They're also keto-friendly, gluten-friendly, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Click the link in the description below and use code HANNAFOREX and get $5 off your order. Good morning guys, it's a new day. Hopefully the lighting is okay. We've come out to somewhere that's just outside like central, central London um, to watch the sunrise. We're actually having a few days of sun, which I'm so excited about, which I'm so happy for. And I'm sorry this that the video didn't go up on the Monday. It's just been super busy, like super crazy. And next few weeks are looking pretty busy as well. But yeah, I'm filming this on the same day that this is being uploaded. So it's currently Tuesday the 10th. This morning I thought we'd we'd start early and you know let's see what's happening in the market. I'm gonna have to do another screen recording. I think I quite like that because it like I really am on my phone a lot now in terms of what I'm forecasting and looking at the markets just because I'm out all the time. Like I'm very very busy at the moment. Um so let me just get up a screen recording for our little morning forecast. Aussie dollar pushing down so it is what it is in terms of having a potential entry up here, um, managing how I would be able to really be out actually. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking to get involved at the moment. Looks like price is coming to slow down. We're just looking at this on the one hour time frame, by the way. Uh, for Euro dollar, it's, since it's just a Tuesday morning, we'll have to see what happens. Any formations in this area, again, looks like a big bit of mess right now. Euro yen very much descending also i don't know why this just doesn't let me hide this we've had that like, same drawing for like i don't even know how, how many how many times now every time i'm doing a forecast it just pops up but i don't know sometimes it doesn't sink um yeah we're getting descending nature here so let's see what happens if we start getting some strong impulses to the upside then i'll be looking to either take sort of a retest continuation or reversal um on this euro yen trade but again we'll see what happens nothing's looking too crazy in the markets if i'm in a trade i'll let you guys know also the lighting looks a bit harsh so there we go so apparently i can actually add serious shortcuts to my uh to my trading trading view on my phone i'm gonna let me film this so you guys can sort of see what i'm doing so shout out to whoever commented on that on my video let us try and do that Siri, show me chart. In which the data is represented by symbols. So I know in the previous, previous video, I think I was going to talk about, oh no, was it the previous video? I think it was the previous video. Um, I was going to say I was going to go over that Aussie dollar trade. Honestly, not much to talk about there. Um, analysis is exactly the same. I guess the only key factor there was the Wix. Wix obviously equal indecision in the market and that we're gonna kind of be range bound for a bit. So yeah, definitely more of a valid setup, but something that I would take over and over again. Um, maybe not because of those Wix, but you know, same sort of similar setup. It's crazy how you, you could see the exact same setup like in terms of it ticks your boxes but there'll be one difference depending on that pair and it just changes everything and i think that's exactly why backtest is so important doing your asr seeing the kind of trades that you've been taking for aussie dollar euro dollar euro yen and to be honest i've got a confession i haven't really been backtesting as much as i would like to or like compared to the hannah before like i just haven't been backtesting as much as i have um 
factors here and there, but just not not as not as much as I want to or I could be doing. But we are human and I'm kind of just living my life still and trying to incorporate that with work, trying to have a healthier work-life balance. Anyways, I'm talking on for so long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and if you haven't already, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Also, we're gonna be 100k. <laughs> what the fudge? It, it blows my mind. It blows my mind. 100k, man. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate all of you.